hi my dear friends welcome to my tutorial in this tutorial we will draw a very simple logo design from very start to the finish you can follow this tutorial if you are using inkscape adobe illustrator or any other vector based graphic design software because i will use simple tools like rectangle circle and pen tool which are available in each and every software so without wasting any time let's start with the tutorial while using the Inkscape. So first of all I will show you the mail of the production manager of the company Carlos Fountain Center. This company designs water fountains of different and unique designs and now they want a minimalist logo for their company and as a reference they are attaching a picture. So let's zoom out this reference picture and here we have a strong base the water emerging from the center and falling in all directions. So by taking this picture as a reference, we will start. So first of all, go to File, select the Document Properties and select the Display Units to Pixels and the Custom Units to Also Pixels. Now select the Width to 1920 and Height to 1080 pixels. Now select Zoom to Fit and select the Circle tool and draw a random circle. Remember that we only need the strokes and doesn't need the fill so we will cancel the fill by clicking this icon and reduce the stroke size to say 3 pixels it's still more so we will reduce the size again to 1.5 millimeters so now lock the dimensions of the circle and increase its dimensions to 700 pixels now right click and duplicate the circle and decrease the dimensions of the duplicated circles to 500 pixels like this now select both of the circles and from the align and distribute menu. Remember if this menu isn't appearing on your screen then go to object and here we have the align and distribute menu. So from the relative to select last selected and align both the objects vertically and horizontally like this. Now right click and select duplicate. Now we have duplicated the objects and worn to align at the quadrant points. So what we will do, we will on the snap nodes tool and select the quadrant snaps. And now we can attach it like there. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this quadrant to this quadrant. Now select the pen tool and draw a line from this quadrant to this quadrant. Press enter and select the dimensions of this line to 3 pixels like this again select the pen tool and draw a line from this quadrant to like this and from this quadrant to this now here we have the object we want this object if you are using adobe illustrator then you can easily do this by using the shape builder tool but in Inkscape we have no such tool so we will use a simple trick as an alternate. So what we will do, we will select all of the objects, go to path and select combine. Here we have a very dull object so we will increase its stroke to say 2 pixels like this. It's not working like 5 pixels. So now we will again select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body. We will give it some fill color like this and place it behind our main object. Now select both of the objects, go to path and select division. So now we can delete the unwanted parts by using the left click of the mouse while holding down the delete key from the keyboard. Like this, this one, also this one, this, this and this. Now this is our final object. Now select all of the objects, go to path and select union. Now it doesn't need the stroke, so we will delete it by holding down the shift key and pressing on this cross icon, like this. We will decrease its dimensions to say 700 pixels, like this, and now we will write its name, which is called as the fountain center. Here's the fountain we will capital letters will be better fountain 
we will select the font to Arial black and give it some bold dimensions we will increase the dimensions of the text to say about 1100 pixels like this now we need another text say center we will also select the font to Arial like this and also bold it we will decrease its dimensions to say 700 pixels or you can say 600 pixels like this this is better select all of the objects go to align and distribute menu select to align vertically and also give them equal spaces like this now we want to add some random elements in our logo so we will draw a random circle say like this will be better we will give its dimensions to 35 pixels now right click and duplicate this circle give it some distance we will turn off the quadrant snap tool now give it some distance and reduce the dimensions to 25 pixels like this again duplicate this smaller circle and place it right here now select all of these elements from the relative select last selected align them horizontally and give them equal spaces like this now go to path and combine these elements now select all of the objects align them vertically and give them equal spaces like this now here we have our final logo and we want to give them some colors I have already decided some colors which I am copy pasting here like this play now we will select this body and from the drop menu we will select the dropper and select this color also for this element we will also select this color you can easily see this color from the color codes and for the text we will use this dark blue color now we will delete these color codes like this and here we have our final logo this represents the base of the water that we use in the reference picture and here the water is emerging from the center and falling in all directions so i think that this tutorial helps you in some way and if it really helps you then please like and subscribe the channel and we will meet in the next video thank you very much